Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Grumblers. And we're here with a first try, a first look at Cataclysmo from uh, publishers, our good friends at Hooded Horse. Uh, and uh, it's a sort of RTS tower defense type thing. <laughs> build, build, have it smashed, build again, that kind of thing. Uh, it's fixing to be another heat wave day today, so no camera because no one needs to see me suffering. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to go through this one, give it the old first hour, go through the tutorial, and that'll uh, give you a little insight into a uh, not very good gamer plays a new game. I hope so, anyway. All right, let's go. Campaign. Uh, start new game. Uh, difficulty medium. Okay, tutorial frequency. Let's play all of them, see what happens. Uh, okay. Keep in mind this campaign is still in development. All right, I will. Keep that in mind, Chad. Chat. <laughs> ah, good vibes, everyone. It is Tuesday, the 9th of July. We're out of embargo for this one, albeit I am not allowed to review it. So, scored or otherwise. Come to talk of Lady Iris. It's true. She has shared my fire from time to time. Sit down. Rest. I still remember that day. Outside Ogar. The day I met her. The Lady Iris herself. Oh. At home's edge outskirts. I like the art style. It's cool. Oh, hello. These blasted woods are so gloomy. Oh, why did I volunteer for this? Move WASD hex. And move screen edges. Okay. Rotate the camera by pressing middle mouse button and moving. Yeah, all right. You can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. Oh my goodness, okay, that's a lot of zoom. For a distant bird's eye view of the map, press M. Oh. From the strategic view, you can quickly zoom in on any part of the map with the left mouse button. Oh, that's neat. I'd better keep moving if I'm to deliver this message. All right, we are the Herald. All right, left click to select, right click to move. Post me high. Uh huh. Right away. Right away. Uh oh. Perhaps this way. Perhaps this way. On it. All right, let's go this way. Wasn't there stuff to explore there? No. If you forget something, you can check the tutorials again for the pause menu. All right. More tutorials are added as we play. All right. So we're not seeking uh -huh. anything out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On it. Okay, it wants us to go over uh -huh. here. What's the down mist. there? It could almost be beautiful. We're lucky to have masks. Oh. Something right bad away. in the mists. Be damned. <gasps> a horror. Uh oh. This creature. It might have once been. No, don't think about it. What is it? It's just vermin now. Kill or be killed. Okay. Attacking enemies. Deployed troops will automatically detect any horror in their range. Move closer to see. Doing it. Doing it. On it. On it. Softly. Let me think about this. Okay. Pause, unpause. Stop time by pressing space or pressing the pause symbol. You can also speed up time by pressing F. Okay. It's done. All this trouble to find some scholar. Hmm. Right away. Okay. Oh. No, he's just readying his bow. Okay. Uh -huh. Who's this? Hopefully this Honest. is the scholar. 
Hello. A camp. So this must be. Lady Edith, I bring word from Ogar. The city is. Do I look like a scholar, Herald? The lady's gone on alone. <laughs> Easy for her, but. Spiky ball you've got there. I'd best go with you to deliver your message. All right. I'm ready. Okay, we have reinforcements. Let's go, gang. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Range and unit roles. All human troops fight from distance. However, uh, hover over a deployed troop and see its range. Okay. What? Hover over it. Okay. Well, that's very short range. Good. Yeah. Where to? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Aha. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking no injuries. Let's take them down from above. All right. Troops at the right height. Different troops will fight better at different heights. Low ground units are good against targets. Similar heights to them, while high ground units. Most effective bows. All units get attack bonuses at the right height. For example, high ground units benefit from being 5 to 10 meters higher than their target. Try hovering over the diamond above a troop's portrait to see their preferred height. Okay. Oh, here are the diamond. High ground five meters or above. On it. Right away. And this yeah. guy? Four meters or above. Have okay. So maybe he benefits from being here. Got him. Uh-huh. What is this? Right away. That we should uh -huh. see. On it. Spooky. Oh. See that ancient beacon? Only one person can light him. The lady passed through here. Alright. We need to cross. Let's check that salvage pile for something we can use. Doing it. Mm -hmm. Salvage obtained. Building structures. Building structures are critical surviving in these forgotten lands. All buildings can be placed and selected from the build menu. Let's start with wooden pieces. Okay. Right away. So, uh, build. Secondary strut. When placing pieces, you can hold left shift and use the mouse scroll wheel to cycle through recent pieces quickly. If you hold and drag left mouse button, you can build multiple pieces in a straight line. Okay. You can recover any piece pressing the recycle button. Okay, I like that. When placing pieces, you can hold left sh shift and use mouse or scroll to cycle through recent pieces. Oh, wait, I already did that. Okay. Let's get on with it. Uh, half arch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So we get to test the recycling. Recycle mode. Give me that one. Collect, connect that one there. Don, close the B menu. Grab my troops and uh -huh. move them. There you go. That was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Uh, oh. Ha. Huh. Build. How are we gonna... How do I rotate it, though? Uh... Hmm... Do, do, do. So it's not right button, it's not middle button, left shift, 
was to scroll through the different pieces. Control. No, that's to go up and down. Alt. No, it's just zooming in and out. I forgot how to... Uh... Mm -hmm. Or did it tell me? Tutorials. Building. Da -da -da. Okay, open. Da -da -da. Yeah. With a piece, <laughs> move your cursor to the You want to build it. Rotate with the right mouse button. Oh, okay. So every single key that I pressed except that one. Okay. Man. Is that the height? Maybe if we're building from this piece. Oh, have I not got enough uh, wood left now? Is that what's going on? Uh, recycle. One of those. How do I... Like that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have... Okay. So if we start by going up... Nearly? Doing it. He can't get up there, can he? Or can he? A unit can't reach its destination. Oh. Uh... Uh-huh. Okay then. Wait, we don't need to go over there though, do we? Why am I trying to go over there? She was just here. That doesn't mean that we uh, need to go that way, I think. Doing it. No. Right oh my away. god, talk about overcomplicating things. <laughs> mm -hmm. What a messy stairway. Well. Yeah, I'd probably build it. Trucks are built out of wood and stone pieces. Wood pieces are quick, cheap, and versatile, but not very resilient. They'll do reaching for distant places quickly. Stone pieces are stronger and ideal for building defenses. They're heavy and require more support. Makes sense. Uh, this piece... That goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. On it. Uh huh. Come on. Right away. There you go. Almost there. The lady should be investigating those ruins. All right. Who is this scholar? To go alone into places like this? I can hear horrors lurking ahead. Mm hmm. Now, do I want my bits back there? I feel like I want my bits back. Some stone. Doing it. It's very cool it. uh, uh -huh. style with the art and everything. Uh -huh. There we go. Right away. Mm -hmm.
That would need support, okay. Oh, hang on. Uh, recycle. One of these, maybe? <laughs> So close. So close. I just do we just gonna fudge it. What? I can't build that on top of that. That's rude. <laughs> Did it. Unit can't reach its destination. What? Why? Why? Huh? On it. Huh? Doing it. A unit can't reach its destination. Right you? Oh! Oh my God! That's off by a line. Oh mm -hmm. my Lord! Uh huh. Oh, I didn't even notice. Not only that, but too high up as well. Okay, I need to zoom in a bit more, obviously. <laughs> right, build... Uh... Hang on. Fellas, uh -huh. out the way a bit. On it. So it's this line here. What have I got in stone? Just blocks. Mind you, blocks could be handy. There we go. It wasn't that difficult, was it? But I made it doing difficult. it. Right away. There we go. X. I bring an urgent request. Ogar expects an attack. The gates are... She listened to my message, or pretended to listen. <laughs> it didn't matter. She knew what to do. If Ogar calls, we go. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Resources gathered. Oxygen, wood, stone, mineral. Uh-oh. But if I'm to tell you this story, it must be told from the beginning. 
this was our world. Then the Perlas appeared, and everything changed. They revealed a great secret to humanity, a great power, the Palido. We built ourselves a sublime domain. The Perlas glowed for us. Yet as time passed, we realized everything has a price. You all know what happened next. The Cataclysmo. Uh-oh. I swear it wasn't my fault. The land was drowned in mist. And from this mist, on pale legs, uh -oh. emerged fresh horror. Oh no. The survivors ran. They sought a new home, scrambling to higher ground to save themselves. That is how Ciudad Ogar was founded. The city where we have been surviving for generations. So these are some of our folks by the looks of it. Not good. The last city, Ogar. Odor. Oh no, it's gonna get smashed time. up. The Solar Gate stands as firm as ever. But if the reports are true, the gate will be under attack soon. Lady Iris is a special unit. Born with a Perla, she's one of the few living scholars able to perform Artas, a cornerstone of humanity's defense. Mm. Our scouts say the swarm is arriving from the south. Okay. Uh-oh. The night is nearly here. Horrors are attracted to human settlements and attack frequently. Swarms attack every night, but scattered horrors, horrors can also sometimes attack in the daylight. Oh my goodness. Generations of defenders have learned to anticipate the direction and force of incoming swarms by hovering over the red icon. You can see what kind of enemies expected and how big the swarm will be. Okay. Oh, guardians, take defensive positions. If your view becomes obstructive, you can apply camera filters to help, such as transparency filter lets you look through certain pieces. Use the eye symbol to find the filters. Oh. Trans oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Hmm? Move the units to the marked position. I'm on it. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine that being uh, needed at times. That's kind of cool. The night is nearly here. Uh oh. There's going to be scores of them. Where, uh, didn't I have four? Hang on, pause. Transparency. Yeah. This guy. I've got this. Should get there. And this huh? this guy. Where to? Should uh, come over here as well. Right away. There we go. That's better. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, here they come. I hope they've got the range. Oh, yeah. Look, they come in both sides now. Oh, they're attacking the stairs. No! Defend the gates. With all your power. Uh -huh. What does she do? So they're 11 meters up. Okay. Got him. That was too small for a swarm. 
and too easy. Well... Lady Iris, no doubt the true swarm will arrive tonight. But with the small force we have... Then we build, Harold. Another defensive layer out there. Okay. Let's go. More walls? It's true, we have plenty of stone, but... Building stone defenses, higher stone walls have more health and last longer under attack. The taller a wall, the tougher it is. It's called toughness and makes stone play pieces essential. When a stone structure's toughness increases, you'll see its appearance change slightly. Uh, toughness can be increased up to three times. High walls are healthy walls. Let's make sure these new walls stand firm. All right. We could use some sort of passage through our new structure. Uh. Well, time is poor. Structures won't collapse. You can modify structures this way to avoid rebuilding whole sections. Oh. Well, that's neat. So, pause the time. Gateway. Double door. Wait a minute. Hex. Okay. Uh. And I guess we're gonna have a piece back here. But I don't. Uh, I'm confused. Because I don't have very many. Oh, I see. I've got massive bricks like that. Okay, hang on. Okay, I get it. We should not have done that. I think. Horrors cannot travel through doors, but your units will. Okay. So, what's this? Five piece long? Two piece long? Okay. So. Hmm. I'm confused. I think I thought we were supposed to build up to there, but let's start with this back line then. Like so. And then these ones. Okay. I'm guessing they can't go up there, but I could be wrong. Such a neat idea. Oops. So is that a good wall? <laughs> okay, maybe. It's a strong wall, Lady Scholar. But next to the Solar Gate, it's. Never mind. What? Tactical place is a special place to provide benefits to nearby defensive units. They each have different effects. Combining these in clever ways will help you against the horrors. Place your tactical places thoughtfully. Your units must stand next to the tactical place to gain its benefits. As you progress through the game, more tactical places will be added. Okay. The solar gate has Merlons atop the wall. Yeah. 
I want Merlons too. See, that's what I was going for. I was going to bring them forward like that. The solar gate is adorned with banners too. Pretty wall counts for nothing if no one is manning it. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. So about getting There's no grand gatehouse, but I'll take it. What? Reinforcements being rude? have arrived. The city sends building materials and more <laughs> troops. Sundown is coming. We need them on this wall now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hang on. All right. You can group multiple units together and create squads of troops. Okay. Okay, so classic uh, style. Got it. Let's pause this a second. Close the building menu. We've got... Let's have Post this, me high. this group as unit one. I'm ready. This group as unit two. And then my... Yes. These as unit three and these as unit four. And now I just need to be able to <clears throat> for them to get up on this wall before I was rudely interrupted. There we go. I don't have any more of those other bits and bobs. There we go, that looks better. Where does this boost? There. Okay. Right, so uh unit Post three. On my way. Hmm? Unit four. On it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Why can't he go on this bit? Or is he at that bit? Huh? Unit one. Doing it. Unit go two. Go low and throw. Good. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. The night is nearly here. Hundreds of them coming in. Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel underprepared. <laughs> Maybe I should have a second line? I don't know. can go up there but we should be careful
Oh wait, there's, is there a gap there? Oh my god. Create a kill box. They can't get through the door. I wonder which way they which bit they're gonna break through first. Did they damage any of the damage of stairs here, but nothing much. box the dark night it's sunset the swarm is here okay let's go kill him my god there's so many <laughs> I love it. You can do F10 to uh, take the HUD off as well. Beautiful. I think this is going to be a really, really cool fun game. Oh man, imagine how manic it's going to get. We did it! It's over. But it is strange. Our forest garrison should have felt the swarm. Uh-oh. You think something happened to them? All I know is that the Send me to investigate. have not been this close to the city in a long time. <laughs> cool. Uh oh. What happened to the forest garrison? The run forest night, garrison. It is defended the city gates from the horrors of the mist. With her peers in the order, our sworn defenders. Yet this was not the first time Ogar stood against its enemies. Thirty years before that night. While the Order was once again fighting for their families, for all of us, a quiet sound began that would change our history. Uh oh. And when the Perla scholars opened their door, there she was. Between her tiny arms, a Perla embedded in her chest. You already know, a Perla is not a trivial thing. You could die just by touching one. Wow. And yet here was an infant with one of these things inside her. She'll die without us. She's a horror in disguise, I tell you. A horror. One looked on in silence. And when she stepped forward, all arguments ceased. She carries a bird light, yes. But also a book. Rectora Elena. She always seemed to understand things. Others could not. Do we not value knowledge? The child? The child is a beacon. I misread that for bacon. Call her... Must be hungry. It is. So, the scholars of the ivory adopted the girl as their own child. And she grew like any other. Slowly, but steadily. Always carrying her book filled with stories from the past. But Iris was not any other child. As soon as the scholars allowed it, she became a chief defender of the city. And what does a good defender do when an attacker becomes too bold? She plays it smart. She goes in search of answers among the trees beyond the walls. 
If we had known what she would come to face, Ciudad Hogar would have shut all doors and windows. And for the first time in centuries, prayed. Oh. Oh, cool. Hmm. I see you've made yourself comfortable, Hermes. <laughs> From the war table, Iris decides her next destination. Each castle figure marks an available mission. All right, bird brain. What say you to a ramble in the forest? I need to know what's going on. Let's go. I really like this art style. It's very cool. The Fort Garrison. There you go. Main mission, tutorial outskirts. I still no word from our forest garrison. Go if the word has happened, rebuild. Worst has happened, rebuild. Rectora Elena. Okay. Let's go. Garrison, it's in tatters. Uh oh, I never thought this place. Oh, wood fall. spikes too soon. What falls can rise, Harold. We need to get the settlement working again. Your citadel is your settlement's heart, it must not fall. It stores natural resources like wood, which will need to, you will need to build your fortress. Settlements need other buildings to grow. You cannot place buildings such as sawmills outside your citadel's territory. A piece such as stone bricks can be built outside of the limits. We shall need wood before all else. Yep. Gathering wood is foundation settlements economy. Build sawmills close to trees to obtain continuous supply of wood. Okay. Resources. Sawmill. Constructing this will take a moment. We should build some steps to the sawmill while that is underway. Oh, wait, what? I can't put the other one there because it's too near to the other thing. Don't. Oh, should have put it just one more block over. Uh, okay, build some steps. Blueprints? No. Oh, wow, there's even Steam Workshop integration. Cool. Silly. X to doubt. Okay, need one of these. are gathering wood now all right get to work workers sawmills spawn workers that carry wood to the nearest storage area for now that's your citadel workers can collect resources more speedily if you build them shorter routes okay we'll need somewhere for folk to live yeah housing all right Those can be deconstructed using the recycle tool. Okay. 
resource source mill resource mill not enough space oh okay interesting so it's not the overlap okay well I guess we only get one feel like they showed me too you can build on the flat surfaces atop other buildings or atop any other structures made of stone pieces where there's enough room okay stone pieces got it okay so we've got 16 citizens available so we need four of these houses i guess right from all the sides by the looks of it. Oh, that's cool. Look, what's this? Some sort of siege weapon or something. Catapult. Don't know. This looks cool. The air here. It's stale with mist. Low oxygen production. Okay. Your units and buildings need a steady supply of oxygen to survive amid the mist of the old lands. Keep an eye on oxygen. Uh, production to avoid running out of breathable air. So it generates a small amount of oxygen, but you will need to build air filters to increase the oxygen production. Okay. Air filters collect oxygen, but need height to work efficiently. Mist settles on the land. So higher, okay, higher up equals better. Air filtering. Plentiful. Not enough space, okay. This is really cool. I love this idea. Hey gang. Hmm. hmm. Masks on. These few shacks are but the start. We have more work to do. Yes. But the day for us was nearly done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here they come. Ambush! They were waiting for sundown. Defend Fight the citadel at all costs. Oh my god. For Ogar. Post me high. Don't know if I should have put them in the middle. Or if I... Oh my god, this is awful. Defend the citadel at all costs. Oh lordy. Should I have put things in place? <laughs> like build pieces? Close some of the walls off? Maybe. Didn't ask me to. Something magical, something special is going to happen in this tutorial. This, this cannot be how it ends. Uh oh, she's going to do something. Come on, come on. Rectora Elena, I've been wondering, what would we do if one of our perlas got, I don't know, compromised? Would it be lost forever? That is a compelling question, little scholar. Our chroniclers say that in the lost reign, humans were able to fold the cloth of time itself for short periods. 
That oh. way, even the most terrible mistakes could be undone. Okay. Of course, that Arte of the Palido was lost in the Cataclysmo. But with training, my little sage, I'm confident you will discover it again. Terrible mistakes undone? We could go back in time. Oh, a memory stirs. This is Iris now able to use an article called Time Anchor. This article allows her to fold time and try again. So I knew it because there's no defenses up front. Okay. From now on, Lady Iris will be able to fold time when needed. You can use it to return to the previous morning or simply a few moments ago. This is my only choice to stop this. Okay. I need to fold time. I need to fold time. This is cool. So if you like messed up or you're really enjoying it and you're like, you were so close or you have like a better idea. That's cool. Have I? Did it work? I can't believe it. I'm back. A few hours before the attack, it looks like. <gasps> Let's go. This is too much. We fell here. Uh -oh. I... No. I cannot let this moment pass. Another chance. Another choice. Let's flip and go. We should gather some stone before... Lady Iris, are you all right? I am fine. Stone, you say? Gathering stone to defend a citadel, you need strong walls, and for strong walls, you need stone. Some pieces, such as tactical pieces, also require minerals. To gather these, you need to find a stone or mineral deposit. Okay. So... I need to get my... what? I need to get my people huh? and bring them up on. here? Question mark? Explore your surroundings for stone and minerals. A healthy supply of these resources is essential to build proper defenses. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully we can build with stone instead of... Uh... Oh, look at this. Hmm. These minerals. If we build a quarry here, it will gather stone for our walls. Well right. spotted, but our territory doesn't reach that far. At least not yet. Oh. Okay. Settlements territory is founded with beacons, but a beacon must be built inside existing territory just like any other. Okay. So, beacon? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, surprise sneeze. Out of sight. There we go. Guess we're gonna need some more houses. That's really cool with that going back to in time thing. Excellent. Our territory now extends to the stone deposit. Let's start gathering. Okay. Build a quarry. Each quarry needs stone and or minerals on them to work properly. The building lacks a path to the citadel. What? There is a path. Isn't there? This one? What? Where? What? Is, there's no pathing tool. That will do. Now, let's rebuild those walls. Let's go. Command troops to destroy scenery pieces by pressing T and left mouse button on them. 
Okay. Uh, so, T. Where's my Eyes troops? Open. I'm confused. The building lacks a path. X to recycle. Okay. Don't know why. Attack that piece. The pallido we will prevail. That's right. Uh, it doesn't do it. Oh, have you got to take the top piece first? Let me see. We got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, building pieces. What's the time? It's coming up to night time, right? Let's just uh let's just panic a bit and get this done. other way they're gonna come in maybe over here cheeky so-and-so's this is quite satisfying okay that wall's strong Yeah. 
need more support. Is that because this is damaged here? Looks like it, right? Where's my peeps? Hmm? I hope we will prevail. Yeah, these bits down here look kind of rubbish. Is this how this works? I don't know. Yeah. The palido shines. Okay, I need to in increase. I went up higher than uh, I was originally thinking. So, uh, wall. to be even one more higher, right? Those filthy horrors won't reach us so easily now. Uh-huh. Do not be so sure. Night arrives, and our rebuilding efforts have attracted them. Take positions. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Pause. The night is nearly here. P pause. Build. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, that gets us up on there. <laughs> no, I don't want to lose a gib. This needs some more reinforcements. Okay, there we go. That's what we should be doing, is building the stairwells out of uh, wood to save the stone. Okay, special battlement pieces. Over there, you got this corner piece here. Looks really cool. Can't really see how that goes. Need some more support, okay. There 
There we go. Like that. That's how we do that. Cool. Uh Where to? Right away. We are needed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Cool. There we go. Neat. <laughs> okay, let's go. See what happens. Can we do it this time? I don't know if that's enough. Oh, wait, we've got these banners. For a boost there. There's still some areas here where it's weak. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to mean that we take that bit out and replace it or... It's pretty cool though. It's very cool actually. I really like it. Uh, okay, there's a corner piece there, but I don't appear to have that piece unlocked. Yeah, these bits here. <laughs> oh, I really like this. Dozens coming from that side there. Okay, it's not so bad then. Post me high. I'm on it. Let's go. Eyes open. Yes. Get him. Oh, this is so cool with the cinematic battles. I really like this. Nice. We Victory. Won. But this was only a bite at our ankles. They're testing us. You have yeah, no they idea, Hogardian. Prepare for more conflict. Oh God. Attacks in daylight. After surviving the first night, the horrors know your location. During the day, horrors are not very active, but they still might make probing attacks on your citadel. Keep watch at the Hiding walls. won't be enough to survive the night. We have to put up a fight. All right. Without a strong army, it's only a matter of time before these fiends break through the walls. Uh, it is the order of Hogar's Hodor's duty to train men and women to defend against the horrors of the mist. Troop barracks, okay. By default, they'll rally at the barracks. You can set a new rally point with the right mouse button. Okay. And I also see that this gleaming thing over here, I reckon that that's 
minerals or something exciting anyway. Yes. Where's my little fella? Come up mm -hmm. here. Oh, this is really groovy. All right. Well, we're pretty much done with uh, the first hour and a bit, having a look at the tutorial. Let's just see what we discover here, because I'm super curious. On my way. What are these? Oh, it's salvage. With the barracks ready, we can start training troops. Oxygen yep, salvage, nice. It. Oh, there you go. They're sneaking up already. Hmm. I've got this. Cheeky. Hmm. I love it. So barracks, and then here you go. Look, you can train bowmen and lobbers. I think we get three of these and one lobber. Intense training. Improves range and line of sight for all units trained in this barracks. Costs a bunch of resources. You know, we'll have that. Let's do that first. Can we do that first? <laughs> I would prefer my troops to come out as veterans. Where to? Seven out of ten. Current max is ten. Okay. Six available. Twenty eight max. Okay. Oh, there they are, cheeky. Sneaking up with their little probing attacks. But yeah, we've got to put beacons down. We've got to re -in recapture this area, low I guess. Oxygen production. Oh, low oxygen. Uh-oh. Air filter. Oh, I, need, I don't have enough wood for the air filter. Mistakes were made. Seven twenty of seven twenty. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh, I can put one on top of that building. That's neat. That's what they said. As long as it's solid support. That's really neat. All right, that's, that'll do it. We're going to wrap it up there. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at Cataclysmo. Uh, Wishlist it on Steam if you're interested. Like and subscribe to the video and the channel, respectively. Uh, hope you're going to enjoy this one a ton. I think it's going to be super fun. I'm looking forward to playing it on stream uh, as well. Let me just see if I can find the information. So... It goes into early access release on Steam. Well, actually, it doesn't say, but I'm guessing. Uh, so now I'm playing it through Steam on July 22nd. So not long to wait now. Reviews are allowed after the 19th. Okie dokie. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Good vibes. Peace and love in your hearts. And I'll see you in the next Cataclysmal. <laughs>